So with these equations, we can now uh, take a neutral axis location. Let's just start with 150 and and just punch through the numbers. Basically, we'll do a, a few examples. So for uh, the case of 150, we have the force in the concrete is 1500 times C. So 1500 times uh, 150, and that's 225 kilonewtons. So 200. 25, and then the force in the steel will be 48,660 uh, times 550 minus 150 C uh, divided by uh, 150. That's 129.76, 129.8 kilonewtons, 129.8 kilonewtons. And then we subtract those two values, uh, 225 minus 129.8. And we've come up with uh, 95 kilonewtons. And then the moment uh, from this equation here is force in the concrete. Force in the concrete, 225 times uh, 2 thirds C. 2 times 150 divided by 3. Uh, plus force in the steel 129.8 times 550 minus C 550 minus 150 for C and divide this by 1000 puts in kilonewton meters so that's 74.4 uh, uh, kilonewton meters and the E value would be M divided by P from here, equation 5, 74.4 uh, divided by 95. That gives me 783 millimeters. E prime, we said, is the 783 plus uh, 305.8 minus C 150 938.8 938.8 and the M prime will just be this P times this uh, E prime value 95 times 930.9388 meters right convert to meters that's kilonewton meters so that's 89 uh, 0.2 kilonewton meters, and we'll just keep going now. We'll take another uh, neutral axis location. We'll say uh, to, to 250. So for 250, force in the steel is 1500 times 250. From from here, right? That gives me 375 kilonewtons. And the force in the steel be 48660 times 550 minus 250 divided by 250. And uh, that's 58.4 uh, kilonewtons. And then the residual left over would be the 375 minus 58.4. P equals FC minus FS. So FC minus FS is 316.6. And then the moment would be force in the concrete, uh, 375 times uh, 2 times 250 divided by 3 plus the force in the steel, 58.4 times 550 minus 250. And divide that by a thousand, puts in the kilonewton meters. That's about 80 kilonewton meters then. And then M divided by P is the eccentricity. 80 divided by 316.6 gives me 0.252 meters, so that's 252 millimeters. And then E prime. 252 millimeters plus 
minus 250, that will give me 307.8 millimeters. And M prime would be this value times this value to give me our moment for the interaction diagram. 316.6 is the axial times 0 0.3078 meters. That gives me 97.5 kilonewton meters. And uh, for the 350, let's let's do another one now for uh, f let's say no, let's say 400, and then we'll wrap it up with one for 600 right at the uh, edge of the boundary. And then let's so for 400 uh, get a value at 600. So now at this point here, the C value is at 600 right at the bottom of the section. So the force in the concrete would be 600 times uh, 1500, which is 900 kilonewtons. And the force in the steel is going to be 48,660 times 550 minus 600 divided by 600. That is uh, minus four kilonewtons, minus four point one. And the reason why it's minus is because we can see here in the previous cases uh, the neutral axis was above the uh, the steel, and now the neutral axis is below the steel, so that puts the um, steel into compression. So it's minus four point one, and then we take nine hundred minus minus four point one from from uh, this equation here. So that's be uh, 900 minus negative 4.1, which is obviously 904.1. So 904.1 kilonewtons. And then the moments will be force in the concrete, which is 900 times 2 times 600 divided by 3 plus uh, negative 4.1 times uh, times 550 minus 600 and divide by a thousand. That's kilonewton meters, so that's 360. Point two, and then m divided by p is uh, 360.2 divided by 904.1. That gives me 398 millimeters. And then the E prime would be 398 uh, millimeters. Sorry, 398 uh, plus 305.8 minus C, which is 600. 103.8. And then the M prime, P times E prime. 904.1 times 0 0.1038 and that gives me 93.8 kilonewton meters. So uh, again we could try, we could take any values for C, we could take a value of 160 or 180, 300 or 504.2 if we wanted to and we would be able to then find an axial load and a corresponding maximum moment resistance for the section. But we can only take this equation as far as 600 millimeters and what we're going to do in the next tutorial is uh, do equations for cases where we're where the neutral axis is below the height of the section. So that's enough for, uh, for, for now and I'll join you up in uh, tutorial 3.3. Uh,